hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Pamela and happy black history month happy February this is the second month of 2022 and you're watching this day if you're watching it the day I post it it's gonna be two 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 <gasps> all right so hopefully something special happens uh, positively on this day for all of us watching but on today's video I want to do one that I actually recently seen Fern while Fern here on Instagram and on other social media platforms she posted a houseplant sort of specific goals situation and it's more pertained to like specific plants or specific things in the home and I love that idea and I really wanted to share that for my own plant collection so if you're interested in hearing some of my houseplant goals for 2022 then keep on watching <laughs> So welcome back everybody all right I want to get straight into the video the first houseplant specific goal that I actually have is in regards to my Monstera elbow and it is the first one that I have so this is Hannah my first Monstera elbow I actually got it for my birthday in 2020 and she is pretty large <laughs> now that I'm looking at her she's actually a pretty big plant for being in my collection let's say like less than two years old so I think she's pretty large for being less than two years old in my collection I believe she only started off with just two leaves originally I think this one and maybe this one, one of the two leaves what well, uh what's the ones that I was sent and since then she's grown so much but the sad thing that i want to work on this year is maybe something you might notice or maybe you not even paid attention to is the fact that the lower leaves are really fenestrated and even some of the ones that were growing in my home were fenestrated but after a certain point they started to become more juvenile and the fenestration pretty much stopped so I want to work on this plant fenestrating again. I'm not sure what I'm going to have to do because I thought adding a moss pole to it would help. And I added the moss pole and I got this beautiful leaf right here. This is the newest leaf that grew. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It has like plenty of white in it. I'm happy that this plant isn't one that's like extremely white in one area and you know missing you know good chunks of green or extremely green it has the beautiful amount of irrigation I like how it's minty and whatnot but again I want the fenestration so I did add a soft watering moss pole like I mentioned and this one is actually from a potman jungle you can purchase the soft watering moss poles from him and I'll try to tag his Instagram in the description box below so that is the first goal specific uh, plant that I have for this year and it is this Monstera elbow and it is to promote fenestration if you all have any more advice for me on how to promote fenestration then please share it down below it used to live over here and then I moved it to now this new place so I'm not sure if the lighting might be better for it or if it might not but hopefully it will start to fenestrate more because now it's not hidden so much in the corner it is going to get that direct sunlight from the windows so first monster elbow goal is this one to get it more fenestrated so I actually want to stay on the monster elbows I have a second monster elbow right here So this one is absolutely beautiful, of course. I had some browning of the white portion, but I'm not really like, that's okay. That's, it is what it is. But what I actually really want to work on is having new leaf growth. This leaf has literally been growing since I received it. It was once a little, just like 
nub and then it started to grow it's growing it's growing but i guess it's not receiving the care that it wants because it's growing new leaves so if you can see like a folding here right that's a new leaf this is a new leaf and this is a whole new leaf so this is about like three or maybe four leaves total it's given me since this popped out of the node and it's not a large you know full beautiful leaf it's still trying to decide what it wants to do i love that i can see plenty of marbling and plenty of you know just variegation on the new growth though so i want to try to figure out how to help this plant finally push out a juvenile leaf even these are like not even juvenile these are like baby leaves little wee little baby leaves so that is the second house plant goal for 2022 the third house plant goal for 2022 is something that i showed you all and you're probably like what are you talking about pam it's actually mouse pole this year i want to one increase the moss pole collection in my home i want to give a few more plants a moss pole that i know that they really really deserve that they really really want but i want to properly learn how to care for moss poles because i believe my issue is that i don't really keep it moist so prior to having this really ergonomic contraption i had the regular moss poles and it was always difficult for me to figure out okay how do i keep this thing moist how do i keep this thing moist especially for plants that do not like to be you know moist that don't like a moist soil so it's like i'm always gonna have to keep the moss pole moist but that means the soil will probably have to be moist but the plant doesn't like moist soil So it was really hard for me to figure it out, but this, again, this contraption is really, really so smart. And it doesn't keep the soil, like, drenched. It just does what it needs to do and keeps this watered. So I want to, again, just figure out, like, how to keep the other moss poles that I have in my home, how to keep them more moist. Maybe I have to bring those plants in the shower when I'm watering them instead of just top watering them. Maybe not, again, maybe I have to get better moss poles for all of them. So that's another goal I have for this year. Before we continue into any more goals, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. By you thumbsing it up or even commenting, it shows YouTube that, hey, share this girl, let other people know about her. If you're enjoying my content, that is one of the main ways you can support is by, you know, getting it active, getting things going. So they're like, oh, who are they? Where are the salty pecans? Oh, maybe we should promote her channel. Maybe we should promote this video. So go ahead, comment below and thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's get into the next one. So the next goal that I actually have for this year is in regards to my Epipernium um, Cebu Blue. And it is like this beautiful plant. So this is, believe it or not, my Cebu Blue that I had in my collection. And it was really full, really thick, really luscious. I'm not sure what happened to it, but it pretty much was like dying in the pot and that whole plant died. But I had some cuttings that I was just like rooting in water. So these now all of a sudden have some sort of like fungal infection, some sort of bacterial infection. And all the leaves, new growth are like these like splotchy, spotted things. So I also know I had thrips in my home. So I'm not sure if it's like the thrips got to it also, but this is in water. And what I think, honestly, I'm just going to end up doing is just, just like popping off all of the leaves and letting this start again from new. And I also do want to propagate this straggly branch. I hate straggly strands. I would rather a short one leaf thing than have a long, just linky situation so i'm definitely gonna like cut this up into a few different sections to make a fuller plant and i want to build back up my cebu blue plant the next goal for this year definitely is in regards to my hoya carnosa compactas and this is for all of them i have a few 
in my collection i'm just showing you the two variegated the two variegated versions i own this is the regalis and this is the mauna loa mauna loa is white interior green border regalis is green interior white border and they both have the ability to just push out all white leaves i want to work on getting these plants to flower and bloom because now that i have my Hoya SP AF Bertinay. That one, it bloomed for me. That was my first blooming Hoya. And I've I've had so many peduncles in my home the past few years I've been collecting Hoya and I really want this plant to flower so uh, I want to work on figuring out how to like promote Hoya blooms if you all have any recommendations or advice for me leave them down below I do use the orchid fertilizers the miracle grow ones um, it's in the it's in you know a happy soil medium it also I let it dry out and then I you know I follow what it needs because it's alive it's growing but I want some tips on blooming so if you can share any with me that you might have if you're like a Hoyo blooming expert please help your girl out sharing is caring that's what the community is about right <laughs> so the next plant 2022 goal that I have for this year is to actually add a specific plant in my collection and it is not only the specific plant but it is how the plant is and it is a mounted staghorn fern i want a staghorn fern so badly i'm really into just like animal skulls sort of taxidermy situation i have a few some that were actually like found in the wild during hunting or others that i found like in the flea markets or during like auctions and thrifts so I have a couple of different sort of taxidermy sort of, you know, heads and the staghorn fern really reminds me of a mounted, just, you know, <laughs> a mounted this, you know, <laughs> a mounted one of these, you know. So I would love to add a mounted staghorn fern and I would love to mount it myself just to go through the whole creative, just process of being someone who plants and pots things i like repotting honestly i really do enjoy repotting i don't like the mess that it creates but it brings me joy to just like get my hands in the soil and just become one with nature even though i'm inside of a box inside of a home it grounds me and i want to go through again that twining process with the moss and all of that so adding a staghorn fern that is mounted into my collection is a goal for this year so my next goal for the year 2022 is in regards to my silver sword philodendron so this is the plant right here it's from down here i don't know if you can see but it's from down here and it goes all the way up here it's one really long vine one really long stalk it's pushing out some new growth like that little node right here where my eye is winking right there and let's see if i can find any more really active ones so that's the really main active one right now there's a couple of ones that failed to grow and there's a couple more little nubs that want to grow and of course there's a top leaf i've chopped this plant up quite a few times and i want to have it promote more mature leaves so this is one of the plants i want to add on a moss pole i do plan on picking up some more moss poles from tr to just you know do this and also like learn how to make them myself too but I want to add some more moss poles, especially on this plant, and I want to add the other cuttings that I have in my propagation box. I want to add it here, so I don't have just one, like, Jack and the Bean stalk stalk. I want, like, a fuller moss pole plant. So, that is my next goal for 2022. So, one of the last plant goals in my home for the year 2022 is in regards to my Syngoniums. I want to 
regrow all of my syngoliums. So, like I've mentioned, I went through a really sad, really intense just fight with thrips in my home. I don't know where they came from. I'm assuming it probably came from one of the plants I brought into my home during one of the plant swaps I went to. Because those were the only new plants that I brought into my home from September until now. And I have not had thrips issues and I also have not brought any new plants into my home since maybe March. So it's been a really long time and the thrips showed up around September, October, which is around the time where I brought those new plants in. So definitely I don't know which exact plant it came from, but it came from one of them. So the Syngonium specifically really suffered in regards to just how badly they reacted to the thrips. So I actually had to behead all of the Syngoniums in my home. So I had to behead this is the Syngonium, I believe the either Maria Illusion or the Berry Illusion. This is my Syngonium White Butterfly and this is really sad because this plant right here is a decade old. I got this plant in the year 2011 at my first job at a chiropractor and it started off as just a little thing and now it, it's huge. I've shared this plant with so many people. I've sold this plant and I had to start it from zero. So the third Syngonium I is in here and it's again one of the it's either like a strawberry illusion or a um, berry illusion. This one though is really disgusting. It's gross. So I'm not going to open it in this room. I'm going to have to treat it in like the bathroom. But I fought the thrips. The thrips are gone. And they are growing back. And I want this plant to be nice and full and bushy. I also want this one to be nice and full and bushy. Believe it or not these had no leaves just a couple of weeks ago they were just sticks in the soil so I want to grow this plant back I'm really happy that they're doing much better and I'm happy that I'm I dealt with the thrips the thrips are gone and we are going to of course do maintenance treatments on them because you never know what may be lurking in the soil that is just captain you know, it's just tougher than everyone expects it to be. So, yes, my salty pecans. Those are some of the main goals I have for 2022 in regards to my plant collection, in regards to just keeping it alive, keeping it happy, and growing it. So, let me know down below if you have any specific goals for your collection because we're ever changing. Plants come and go in our collection. And, you know, how can we maintain them pretty much how can we maintain them how can we allow this to maintain our happiness and you know all the money we spent we don't want it to go to waste okay with that being said my salty pecans if you like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and sharing subscribe if you aren't already join this little cookie family because they're pretty awesome here become a salty pecan and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video and make sure to follow me on all my other social media platforms at houseplant h-a-u-z-p-l-a-n-t and i will see you on the next one let's get growing bye